So yes, I want to address the elephant in the room. Anxiety, depression, social panic attacks, stress, whatever you want to call it. I'm here to let you guys know, check on the people who have everything that I just mentioned because we are not doing okay. And if you choose to check on us, make sure you really mean it. Make sure it comes from your heart because some people check on us just to use it against us and it's not okay. It's not okay. We feel alone because we are alone. I feel alone every day. And yes, I know other people go through the same thing I go through in different parts of the world. But I don't see no one present in front of me going through it. It's just me. And every day is a struggle, a real life struggle. I have anxiety, depression, stress. I had it way before it was trending. And when I say trending, I mean... Now, these days, everybody claims to have it. I'm sorry, everybody claims to have it. And a lot of people do it for attention. And I know some people might say, well, that's not true. It is true. And that what gets me angry every day because it's like you're poking fun at something that I cannot get rid of. I cannot get rid of it. It's a part of me. It's a part of my life. I just have to deal with it. And then you're putting things like this on the internet for attention. And then you use these things against people like us. That's not okay. You know, it hurts when you do reach out for help. And the help is not help. They use it against us and they say things like it's all in your head. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not all in our head. It's a part of us and we can't do anything about it. We just have to accept it. And life adds on to the anxiety and the depression because we can try so hard and do our best with everything and nothing seems good enough for the world or nothing seems good enough for people. We have to get up every day and put on a fake happy-go-lucky smile. And it's not okay when we want to... Have a day off just to get ourselves together. People use that against us. If we want to call off work or call off school, they use that against us. You know, they say, oh, it's okay. But then they use it against us. What do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? Now I see why so many people are committing suicide to themselves because enough is enough. You know, we keep pushing ourselves to go through with life. And so many people give us positive words. But sometimes that's not enough for us. Sometimes when people give us positive words, we don't believe it because sometimes it's not the truth. And we could keep going on with life. And when it gets so hard... The easy way out is suicide. And I know some people might say, that's a coward. That's a coward. No. Just because a person commits suicide does not mean that they are a coward. You are a coward for saying such a thing. Because we could get up every day and do our best and try our best. And it's still not good enough for people. You don't know what people are going through. And when we get frustrated and fed up, we can't take it. So, yes, the next option is suicide. Because when we do reach out for help, the help is not really helpful. You know, the people use it against us. And they try to make us feel like we are insane. It's like, no, we are not insane. If we are insane, blame the world. Because the world adds on to these things. And sometimes we leave our feelings bottled up inside. Because each time we do reach out for help. Like I said they use it against us. Or people make us feel that we are a burden. So what else can we do? 
the only thing that we can do is commit suicide. You know what I mean? We, we don't know what else to do. And also when it comes to anxiety, depression, there are multiple looks to it. There's no way to look a certain way when it comes to anxiety or when it comes to depression. Because I know so many people who have seen me or met me, they would say things like, it's no way you have anxiety. Oh, that's not true. You don't look like you have anxiety. You're so happy. I'm really not happy. I'm happy on the outside, but I'm really not happy. And I know I've been rambling off. I'm just speaking out loud. I'm just speaking truthfully. Some of it may make sense to you and some of it may not make sense to you. But I just needed to create this video. So if you know anyone that has real depression, real anxiety, please do not use that against us. Reach out to the people who are suffering. Give a helping hand and make sure your helping hand is truthful and honest. Don't just help us just for intention or to be nosy or to use it against us. Do not say you understand something if you don't. It's just crazy that so many people are alone. It just sucks that so many people commit suicide. And it breaks my heart every day. Because I go through the same things that they go through. I'm just happy that my anxiety, my depression, my social panic attacks that I have is not severe like other people. And whoever has the same thing that I have, I'm here to let you know that I truly care. And if you ever see me anywhere in public or maybe on this platform, feel free to reach out to me. No pressure. So that way we can connect. Because there's too many of us who are committing suicide. We need to stick together and speak and talk about our problems with people who understand us. So again, please reach out to your friends or anybody who feel alone and make sure you really, really need it. On that note, have a beautiful, blessed Saturday. Continue your life continue taking baby steps and i'll see you all next week bye